About one year ago, the journey began for 11 delegates who vied for the title to represent the jewel at the Miss Universe 2018 pageant in Bangkok, Thailand. After several rounds of competition, Janelle Fraser was chosen as the Belizean beauty to take the international stage. Today, a new set of confidently beautiful young Belizean women have been chosen to compete for the title and the crown. It's nostalgic for Fraser, who was overwhelmed about the experience. One of the things that was very important for me was letting them know as soon as you are revealed, whatever life you were living in the past, um, it is now over because you become a role model and you want to be the next Miss Belize universe. And so it's extremely important to conduct yourself in a respectable manner and respect people as well. And I can see the excitement, but the fear as well, because this is a big position. Like I mentioned um, in a previous interview, the weight is on your shoulder representing your country. But I trust and believe that they are excellent um, delegates, and I can't wait for you guys to see them. And within minutes, eight women from various backgrounds from across the country, as well as the diaspora, were revealed. Meet the 2019 delegates for Miss Universe Belize title. My name is Destiny Wagner. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Punta Gorda, Belize. I think I would make a fabulous Miss Universe Belize contestant because I love my country very much and I'm very passionate about my community. I would love to use this as an opportunity to spread awareness about my country's disparities, such as mental health and child hunger. I was born and raised in Punta Gorda, Belize. I represent Barranco, I represent Catalandan, and I represent Forest Homes. Wherever I go and I travel a lot, I make sure I tell everybody that I am Belizean and I'm a very proud Belizean. Hi everyone, my name is Artie Suknandan. I am 24 years old and I'm so excited to be <laughs> I'm so excited to be in the pageant right now. What I think makes me a good contestant is my passion for marketing. I'm currently pursuing my MBA at Nova Southeastern University in Fort Lauderdale. I would love to represent the country of Belize because not only is it my home where I was born and raised, but I believe that Belize is a place with so much good in it and I would love to be the person that puts those communities and those organizations that are already doing great things on the forefront. Um, my name is Rayanne Simone Smith and I decided to participate to show different young ladies that you don't have to be the richest or the with the lightest of skin, with the straightest of hair to be a beauty queen. Once you believe in yourself and you have that confidence, I believe that you should be able to do whatever it is that you set your mind to and that is what I'd like to show to all these young ladies. Confidently beautiful to me means that you accept your insecurities, the things that you cannot change, and you feel good about yourself, and you don't worry about what everyone else is doing, how everyone looks, and you just accept who you are. I'm not a pageant person, but what I like to say for people who aren't a pageant, pageant person like myself is that you have to believe in yourself first. So that was what made me come on stage, is because I felt I had the courage enough to believe in myself, and I felt as if I, this is something that I can do. You believe in yourself that much that you could push yourself to the limit, and you could push yourself to persevere. I decided to join the pageant to prove to people that no matter what you look like, no matter where you come from, no matter what background you have, as long as you know what you want to do, you hold your head up high, remain humble while still being confident, then the sky's the limit from there. I believe that being on the international stage takes a lot of heart and a lot of strength. You have to be strong. You have to be emotionally ready for it. You have to know what you're going to represent. You don't have to know your platform. I am representing San Pedro. It has been three years since San Pedro has been on the Miss Belize stage, so I, seem, I feel very honored to be able to represent us once again. Um, not only do I feel honored, it's a huge responsibility because now I also have a huge um, load on my back. A lot of weight to carry on my shoulders because I know my town, they love pageants and they've been looking forward to having a San Pedro on the stage again. While several of the delegates have experience in pageantry and working the catwalk, one specific delegate, 26-year-old Destiny Arnold, has represented Belize on the international stage, winning La Reina de la Costa Maya in 2013 and Miss Ethnic World. 
Now, that was over six years ago under the Queen of the Jewel franchise, which is not recognized by the Miss Universe organization. So for Arnold to get an opportunity to represent the country at Miss Universe, she must compete in this national pageant. Here's what she had to say. Belize finally has the Miss Universe license, and it will be my honor to be able to represent our beautiful country on that stage and take our pageantry in Belize to a different level. Some people might say that you have an unfair advantage because you've done, well, you've represented the jewel um, as Miss Belize in international pageants, have won those. <laughs> uh, so what would you say to that? That, oh, you know what, you know, you have that unfair advantage. Well, I do understand that everyone has an opinion and I respect that, but we have to understand that I put a lot of hard work passion and dedication to pageantry. I'm very serious about it and if that is considered a disadvantage or an unfair advantage then I'm going to own up to that and say okay good I'm glad you're recognizing the blood sweat and tears that I put into this. The pageant takes place on September 6th at the Belize City Civic Center at 8 p.m. Dwayne Moody for News 5.